Welcome to another video where in this video I decide to travel all around Wiltshire visiting loads of local towns on loads of local buses. I purposely wanted to do this on as many buses as possible so that the whole adventure is not conventional. Because here's the thing, most people do journeys by car or by coach or by train. However, that is far too simple and easy for me. Instead, I want to get a taste of the small A roads that connect the quaint villages to the larger towns in Wiltshire. Let's go! So then, I start this adventure off in Devizes, which is the most centre town of Wiltshire. Wow, this town looks dead. Thank God I'm getting out of this dump. I mean, I've seen worse at 8 o'clock in the morning, but still so dead. So I start this adventure off by catching the 49 bus route along to Trowbridge. This is on a Scania N230 Enviro 400 if you're wondering and it's a Stagecoach West bus. Here I am in Trowbridge. Sadly, Trowbridge has become a bit of a sleepy, run-down place. It's not very nice, but let's take a look around there. Just casually walking across this bridge at half past eight in the morning. Nothing extremely weird here. That's a nice looking jewel carriageway. Oh yeah. By the way, it is raining quite heavy, but that does not stop us. I need to go to the next bus stop, which is at Trowbridge Town Hall, where I'll catch the next bus to Warminster. Wish me luck, because Warminster is not a nice place, just, just saying. How boring. Welcome to the most dead shopping centre in the world. So, we now leave Trowbridge and go along to Warminster on the D1 bus. This bus is an Envoro 200 MMC and this is operated by First. Now, weirdly, I did not get a printed ticket on this bus. Usually, you do get tickets, but I didn't on this bus. I guess if you think about it, paper tickets aren't exactly needed, are they? I mean, unless you get a day ticket, where you'd have to scan a ticket, but if you're getting a single, what's the point? I mean, once you're on the bus, you don't need it anymore. So, actually, now that I think about it, I think I am actually in favour of not receiving a ticket. It's a waste of paper really, isn't it?
So, I now arrive at Warminster and oh dear, nice to know that I'd go to interesting places on my adventures. What a complete and utter load of crap. There's only one word to describe this town, and that is inbred. I've got half an hour in Warminster. Now, normally, half an hour goes quickly on my adventures. However, in Warminster, half an hour feels like a decade. So I long ago to the train station, because what else can I do? The town centre's too boring. Well, it's not exactly Clapham Junction, is it? now we now catch the next bus along to Salisbury the only city in Wiltshire now this is on a 24 bus route this is actually operated by beeline coaches which is rather odd now I was expecting this tiny bus company to use teeny tiny Optair solos but no they've actually got one Evora and thanks to luck I'm actually going on the only Evora so let's have a ride Now, as we were approaching Salisbury, we entered a rather large traffic jam, which meant that we arrived at Salisbury 12 minutes late. This meant that I sadly only had about 7 minutes in Salisbury before my 2 hour trek up to Swindon, so I, I apologise for the small amount of footage. So, let's do the two hour trek on the X5 up to Swindon. This is on an Enviro 400 operated by Salisbury Reds. Along the way, we passed this interesting looking Spitfire. We also passed this interesting looking old bus. Our bus struggled up this hill just outside Pusey. This Burger King you see is actually new because the old one burnt down. Fleming Way does look like a bit of a mess at the moment.
finally. So, here I am in Swindon. I've got half an hour here, so how long I go to McDonald's. That thing on the left, by the way, is a galaxy chocolate and raspberry pie. Welcome to Swindon. And a longo catch, the 55 route to Chippenham. This is on an Enviro 400 major model change, managed by Stagecoach West. Hill Martin. I said Chippenham. And a long I go to the train station. Now, I now board a 231 bus along to Box. Yes, Box is the name of a place. This bus is another Evora. Yes! And this route is managed by Fairsaver. Welcome everyone to Box. Yeah, I know, not much here. I didn't realise this whilst riding a 231, but I had a 40 minute wait at Box. I thought that the 272 to Devices was half hourly for some reason, so I had a 10 minute wait. But no, it's every hour. What should I do? I know, let's go to the shop and buy something to eat. Right then, let's board the last bus of this adventure to Devizes. But where is it? Oh, come on, this is getting ridiculous now. Where is this bus? Well, it turned out that the bus was 18 minutes late due to traffic in Bath. Hmm, OK, but what would the bus be then? Could it be a Gemini? Could it be an Enviro 200? Could it be an Enviro 200 MMC? It is another Evora! Yes! So to celebrate, let's record Evora for the last time. <laughs>
to Evora's. But anyways, here we are.